is I'm Peter Konechny. And I'm Sandra Alvarez. And we are Medievalist.net, and uh, we are here on day two of the International Congress on Medieval Studies. Uh, Sandra, you just got in, actually, so. Yeah, just got in tonight after a grueling seven-hour drive from Toronto. Yeah, and you got lost on the way, too. Yeah, and I got lost. I didn't quite make the I-69, so uh, I ended up somehow on the I-94, but Anyways, um, I'm here and I'm excited to be here. And so Peter is going to tell us a little bit about his day today and oh. what he saw and what uh, he liked. Yeah, I had a we had some good sessions today. Um, I, I talked with uh, we we there was a big session about Walter Goffert and a paper he wrote, mm -hmm. um, Rome's Final Conquest of Barbarians, and uh, his kind of premise. This article he wrote last year. Uh, is that like the kind of the old idea that uh, the, the barbarians were they came in and conquered Rome and caused lots of uh, uh, lots of trouble and you know destroyed the Roman Empire he, 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 he finds that to be inaccurate and he kind of uh, the his idea is that um, the, the the barbarians kind of became you know were kind of infused with like Roman values like uh, Roman ideas of Roman law and culture and Roman religion which is Christianity uh, and those things kind of endured and that's the kind of part of you know Rome that kind of keeps on going I'm sorry that I uh, missed that paper I was um, fortunate enough to be one of um, to be actually in the last uh, semester last year that Professor Goffert ever taught at U of T, so I was lucky enough to be in his early Middle Ages course, so i um, kind of ticked that I didn't make it here in time to see that uh, paper, but uh, good yeah. that you got to see it. Like, that session, that room was packed. And was I can imagine. There was people outside, and, I can only imagine. and basically his reception was quite good. Like, every, uh, the, the commentators, was a roundtable discussion, and the, the, most of the commentators really quite agreed with his paper, so... And most of the audience did too. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. will have an interview with uh, Walter Gofford coming up in a few weeks on on our site. So um, tomorrow, uh, uh, I think I might attend a token uh, paper. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to uh, attend tomorrow. Uh, there was a um, something on Odo of Cluny that I'm interested in attending, and um, I think there was something else on. Uh, uh, Franciscans. Fran I don't know if it was, I can't remember if it was the Franciscans or the medieval um, medieval women mystics. I can't remember, but <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. But uh, I have a lot of uh, interesting papers that I'm gonna I'm going to attend tomorrow, and uh, we'll report back and uh, debrief on those. I'm going to I'm going to be <coughs> I head back to another day ready military session tomorrow. Um, High Middle Ages, uh, so uh, a few friends are giving papers there, so I'm, I'm going to attend that. And then in the afternoon is uh, Weblogs in the Academy, uh, kind of uh, medieval bloggers kind of uh, discussing issues. And this is going to be, uh, from what I hear, this will be the last uh, one that they're going to do that being uh, by the organizers. So this is their fourth year, and this is going to be their last year. So I don't know why, but they're, uh, they're uh, yeah. Lisa Carnell was uh, organizing it, and she's the Congress coordinator, so I think she's moving on to different stuff. But, um, like, I'm going to attend that, mm -hmm. and then... We're also going to do a uh, few interviews tomorrow that mm -hmm. I guess we'll be posting up and of course, shortly. And, of course, it's the Pseudo Society tomorrow, so that probably the most exciting uh, <laughs> of the... Uh, or most well-attended of all the papers. Um, also, the plenary is uh, another plenary session on Michael of Rhodes, uh, a Venetian seafarer from mm -hmm. the 15th century, and we will be trying to do an we're going to do we'll interviews. We'll do an interview tomorrow morning. <coughs> they, uh, so we got a busy day. They, Thank you. And uh, just uh, otherwise, uh, then uh, it's like Saturday night's pretty much Saturday's pretty much the end of the Congress. Like there's papers going on Sunday, but I think us and 80% of the Congress leaves on Sunday morning, so. Pretty much. They, uh, but uh, we will have another report back tomorrow, and uh, until then, uh, thanks for watching. See you from Kalamazoo. Okay, we're done. <laughs> that was so good, Peter. <laughs>